No, the beginning of the finale uh, when she's recruited, and then yeah, yeah, the beginning of the finale when she's recruited. There you are, you hey, fucking Ten. lazy cunt. I'm like, I... yo. So here's the thing, Ten. Um, we watched episode nine without you because you weren't here. You were late. Yeah, I can explain. I can explain. No. <laughs> All right Damn, then. Not so, even for us. so I, I don't feel bad about not watching it with you anyway. Not that that episode had anything happening. Um, it was very cringe. So don't worry. Just, just, just what fucking episode was it? Uh, it was episode yeah. nine. Now we're gonna you... watch episode ten. I'm gonna give you a quick, quick summary. Black Flame was evil. Went after Chester. Sue and Iris investigated a new meta. Iris has time cancer of some kind. Um, Ronnie is all but confirmed. Done. Let's move on. Chester defeats That's... the Black Flame by yelling "Go to hell!" at it. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. how they defeat ah, this ah, monster ah. that seems to be like from another, like from like hell. And he says, "Go to hell." So yeah. <laughs> Night dog. Yeah. So you didn't miss much. Don't worry. But anyway, yeah. Uh, episode ten. You guys have it open, and you guys it's you. Woohoo! Um, yeah. Yes. La Vie Dolly Hotel. Temple mutations. I've been. Talking <laughs> That's a weird shot. <laughs> that that chango was weird. I know I've been treating your time sickness like it's a virus that's giving you symptoms. Now I've been noticing that things are there one minute and they're gone the next. There's something about you that's causing time to fracture around you. Whatever this time sickness is, it's coming from me. Is this because? That is this nothing. because she's like the embodiment of the Speed Force now or something? What Wasn't that some heard... kind of plot point in a season? Tin, do you like the Flash? Uh, sure. <laughs> All because of what happened in the other timeline. I should have never reversed your treatment. I asked you to do it, and it was the right thing to do. There, there was no other way to prove Barry's innocence and save my dad's life. Oh, who knows what's next? And now we gotta get you stabilized. I'm sorry, but you gotta stay put. The still falls. They keep things still. Ah. Imagine if that's actually oh, what they do. <laughs> I'd say staying put is a relative thing when it comes to earthly movements, so... I'm thinking that if you confine the movements to Coast City for a while, it should lessen the risk. What if she has another episode? Well, I'm gonna have to do something a little more radical this time to patch you up. This is gonna hurt. Ah! It's so funny the way he de dematerializes. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a few of my things from home. I'll be back in a few seconds. No, no, Barry, you can't. You can't leave. I mean, Barry, you no. There's a black flame thing. Don't they have someone who could look oh, after oh, Iris oh, in the meantime? Hey, pal. Let's go. Yeah, 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Two pack get shot again. Since the episode, we're going to meet Ronnie because I think they're doing a lot <laughs> with having Iris. My painting death. of Ronnie. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That looks like a. That, like a painting Phoebe would make. When do I sweat? What? Oh, Ronnie. Ever since Ronnie was in the room. Ronnie! Yes! She's dead! Oh, she's not. Ronnie, don't attack her. It's 100% Ronnie. Oh, sh. Ronnie's too powerful it's for better you. better now. Besides all suffering recent personal losses, no. None of our fire victims had anything in I mean, that is a big thing in common. I'm. I mean, that's quite clear what the through line is, isn't it? Went to feeding on people who recently mourned, like Mullins. But then it attacked me. Maybe he's looking for people who don't face their grief. No, I don't think so. Di Stefano had completed grief counseling. She was already seeing somebody new. That's not how that works. Gr grief, uh, Barry. If your fiance dies, you can still feel grief despite finding someone new. Yeah. <laughs> this soundtrack cue there was weird, but alright. Someone just entered the med lab. Well, is Caitlin back from her wine country tour with Marcus? It's Ronnie. Uh, oh, you know, it's, when, gonna, when, it's gonna be Frost, right? Surely, because when, she, when she you're, was hurt. Hey, yeah. Any idea where Katie can when you're editing the episodes uh, and Ronnie finally appears, uh, what, what can you do like huge balloons and celebrations? Sure, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hmm. no, it's been so well built up for us. Were you grieving? Nope. I was perfectly happy working on a new piece and only leave me with this. Frost, Dumb man. There's gotta be something more. It's after something we're missing. Uh, I have. Yes. Oh my God. The show could not get more explicit. Just for video, really. Yeah. Follows you home. 
Less than 24 hours later. For the love of God. That can't be a coincidence. No shit. So if we can figure out why the flames think I'd be a tasty snack. Maybe that could tell us how to stop it. Oh, don't worry, Caitlin. There's a lot of porn on why you're a tasty snack. Clues as to why the fire's targeting you. Go for it. What? Wait, no, I don't. I'm confused. Why would the, why would her apartment say anything? The idea is that they start getting people with grief. Why did she smile? I'm so confused. And you need my help to figure out what's causing this phenomenon. And I think they're coming after me. I'll, I'll do whatever I can to help keep you safe. Actually, I need you to do just the opposite. I want you to help me catch this thing using me as bait. All right then. Oh, something. Oh yeah, I forgot she had a mom. I didn't because of season three. This makes sense. I don't know. Frost would use herself as bait. It's very in character for her. Where's the other Kate? Like? She has been out with Marcus. They've said that last episode and this episode. But what? Why has it she contacted the other Kate? Like? Because yeah, she's fucking her boyfriend. Then she can't answer the phone. Oh, okay. Because I think that's something pretty urgent. <laughs> yeah, when your sister is uh, being targeted by a cold fusion villain it might be a bit Correct. important so but boyfriend takes precedence frost we're not using you as bait besides there's still so much we don't know about this fire i mean e even this if we tried this we control. still have no way to capture it if we could build some you go go fusion containment housing then all we'd need to do is recalibrate the unit to absorb and amplify frost crowd kinetic signatures frost is in proximity the unit <laughs> i like the fire, <laughs> it's just like oh, fuck that <laughs> Of course, building a unit like that could take weeks or longer. It would likely take years. At, at all, I don't think it's possible. Yeah. We kind of already have what you're describing. Oh. We do. Oh. Chester, you and Mom work on the nerd stuff. Allegra, you and I wait around for you to get killed. Whoa, what Barry. What? I sit around and do nothing when we have a plan to fight back. Yeah. He says that like if he can't relocate her when the fire shows up. Very. I mean, You're super know, fast, you know, fucking oh my god. Yeah, there's gotta be another option. What do you mean? She's a vigilante as well. She's often in harm's way. Oh, okay. They're gonna do this That's without right. Barry. I'll be back. Right. Well, I the, hope the so. fire shows up, and Barry's just not gonna do anything. Yeah, he's just, just gonna I, watch it consume her. Yeah, he's gonna be like, I told you, I do not want you to take part in this. He's just gonna let her die. <laughs> yeah, he'd be it's like, not... I told you so. Yeah, <laughs> it's about the principle, okay? <laughs> he's just shaking his head slowly in disapproval. <laughs> <laughs> This was very unneeded. They could have just had him go along with it and not be retarded, right? I guess because it will go wrong, yep. so he's gonna be proven right because of how stupid the show is. That's what I imagine. And he's not gonna be uh, fast enough to save her. He should. He would need to run points two seconds faster. <laughs> the intro had <laughs> I had a flash, but I wasn't fast enough to save Caitlyn. <laughs> the fire cornered her. And there's nothing I could do. Uh, see, he's not leaving because of Allegra. Yeah, they're gonna fuck soon. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have no idea when we started to root for these shooting fuck, but I I'm glad we did. <laughs> it's making these episodes way more interesting because it's just a battle of attrition until we finally get there. Imagine if it goes after Caitlyn instead of her. That'd be hilarious. I could take forever. Carla's right. The sphere will amplify Frost cryo signature exponentially, like an animal scent getting broadcast to a larger area to entice a predator and draw them. Didn't they just say that? Frost. Yeah. Yes. They're just repeating it. So. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> he just explained it. We need another apparently. fucking. We, we need another fucking allegory. So first we have like, oh, it's just an animal. The the other one's like, oh, actually, <laughs> it is uh, like a fly trap. Has... Allegra also has dementia. Runs into the house instead of running away from it. Oh, don't worry. That's Barry takes care of the stupid person in the horror movie <laughs> analogy. Isn't it? What the fuck was that shot? What? <laughs> okay, we did it, guys. Oh my god, it's coming through. Oh shit. We did it, lads. I mean, this just kind of proves that the lockdown on the last episode is useless, but whatever.
Wait, was it really necessary to strap her down? I think her being... She, she's not even strapped. Oh yeah, I think it's oh, uh, her okay. left hand has a bracelet that's connected to the chair. Die. That's what's broadcasting her powers. Oh! What? Yes! Die! Die, die, die! Oh, oh my... Wait, wait, what? How is she alive? Why didn't Barry go save her oh, you before fucking he idiot. was attacked? Flash yeah. Before she was attacked, yeah, yeah. rather than after. Flash time. Yeah. What a save. Oh yeah, flash time. That's also a power he has. Hey, Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn. Oh, there she is. Body stuff he coming back this episode in some form. I also love that the fire came like down on her, and yet it like threw her off to the side. Look, the dark side of the fire is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> Also, your bedside manner is terrible. <laughs> Danielle Pennebecker has great chemistry with herself, not gonna lie. Worried about her, then why did you go save her after she was- after the damage was done? He has retardation. We need to do is find another way to stop this thing. I hear the cold fusion sphere didn't even work. More precisely, we never had a chance to see if it would work, so it didn't get close enough. If only there was a way to make Frost more attractive to the flames. Wait, but it did attack her. <laughs> it did attack yeah. her, what? Sit that down. makes no sense. Stay. Huh. I thought she was gonna talk to you Frost and it'd be like a Ronnie talk, but whatever. Oh, we're just gonna cut away? Okay. <laughs> Adoption. I was All like, right. oh yeah, I, I, that, I forgot that this is what we were doing with Iris. It's just like... Frost putting her life on the line to stop this fire meta, and it's like, oh, let's find this random girl's mother. Someone doesn't want me to find my own birth mother? Uh, who? I want to know right now. Why don't you just give us a few minutes so that we can work things out? I have a right to know the truth! Okay. Why didn't her hand go through the entire thing? Why just the stapler? That if doesn't make sense. Cuz. It's cuz. Don't up. think about it. Uh, that's fair. Imagine her, like, during... Oh, no, she know. might be underage, we can't say that. <laughs> Jesus no, Christ, sake, I know Jeb. you were going with that. For fuck's sake, Jeff, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying to help an orphan. I know. Just like you. It's for you. What? Yeah, she's just using her connections because she's rich. An orphan, just like you. <laughs> they should have had that line in the Batman, man. Sorry about that. Come on, oh, Chelsea. No, no problem. You're just doing your job. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Iris, being reasonable. I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> what is this shot? Uh, um. Did my computer freak? No, it didn't. Okay. What? what? <laughs> That's so confusing. What? What? Things are disappearing. What? <laughs> what the what fuck the just fuck? happened? I that was weird. Yeah. It's because what? of virus. I was very worried that my computer froze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The fuck did she just mouth? I think okay. Oh, good luck. Is what um, the two. What if my mom doesn't want to meet me? Oh, wow. I mean, Whoa. there's a reason why she abandoned you. you. That just hit you? This is why she didn't want you. You're retarded. I mean, this is just like Shazam, isn't it? <laughs> mom wasn't in my life either. And there was so much trauma. Yeah, your mom was a druggie, to be fair. Oh, Jeb, didn't you predict this? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, last episode. <laughs> this, I think, is copying when Iris's mom walked out on their family. Um, I... I'm in that writing room. I'm that fly on the wall. <laughs> Reconnecting with my mom, no matter how or why, was a gift. I... This is a weird message. I, I don't like this. Like, imagine if you had a, an abusive relationship with your mother before she put you up for adoption. And it's like, oh no, but, you know, you see, talking to her one last time is a gift. You have to do it. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's fucked. This show has a lot of that. Remember when Alex said that love was the best part of, like, life? Which is yeah. also just, like, ignoring a romantics. It's, it's fun. Everything's gonna be okay. Because you're not gonna do it alone. <laughs> and then she's like, wait, I actually, I want to meet my mom by myself, if that's okay, Iris. Imagine if, like, they meet the mom, but because of Iris' time cancer, it causes her to disappear. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to help people. And you, mom, 
seriously, how could you go along with this? You put her life at risk. You realize that, right? Because she asked me to. And that makes it okay. Well, we had Barry on the scene as well, but he's a fucking <laughs> moron. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't see it as her child. Because you're looking at Frost as a science experiment instead of as your daughter. I, I, I like this scene, not gonna lie. That's a really cool concept. I I like it. Especially with how the, her relationship with her mother wasn't that great to begin with, as we saw in season Charlie, three. So. you still think that fusion globe will work? Yes, if we can find a way to make sure it gets closer next time. Great. How much closer can it get you than actually, like, yeah, hitting her? It... <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be inside of her? Because right now, but if something happens to Frost because of something you helped her with, you'll have nothing. Okay, I I enjoy this scene. It has some neat concepts. I suppose if we if we ignore the fact that the blame should be on Barry and not her mom. Then, oh yeah, it's like in yeah. isolation. The scene it's, is it's good. It's a good concept. Yeah, it's like mo a lot of the character scenes in No Way Home. Like if you ignore the context, it has some good stuff. It's too dangerous. I mean, Frost has already been hurt once. If we try this again, something even worse could happen. I mean, if you pay attention, it won't, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you use flash time. I mean, my gut told me this was a bad idea. I should have listened to it. Are you worried about not being able to stop it because these things were set in motion? Having a plan that keeps everybody safe is my job. Oh, Joe literally encourages Barry to go for his gut, and now it's like, don't go for your gut. Are you talking about Frost or Iris? What? What? Huh? what? You were the one but... who also left what? The white. Is it safe? For her to continue her mission. How do you? Look, I guess she talked to Joe. I don't understand why she would, but all right. Sometimes the hardest part about being a leader is letting go. What? And trusting the ones you trained what? to make the call themselves, and then you'll be there for them in a blink of an eye. Oh, well, he should, but isn't this the motherfucker who said we shouldn't kill Thawne? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Barry had his mind Barry had his mind made up and wasn't he like, no, we don't do that here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not your cool to make, Barry. Because I am your mom. And it's time I start acting like it. I think your sister's right. You need to stop being so reckless. You don't get it. Protecting people? Kinda in the job description. No. You don't get it. You can't help anyone if you're dead. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't help anyone. <laughs> Scientist revolutionary <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> I love this yeah. shit. <laughs> to be Katie's bodyguard. Asking me not to jump into the fire. It's like asking the sky not to be. You... Frost. <laughs> You're more than a bodyguard. You're an incredible young woman and a vital. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jeff. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the way someone wrote that. <laughs> Approved it in the final draft and directed and that as the way it was. For protecting others, and there's a time for protecting yourself. And now is the time to do the latter. I should have seen it before, and I hope you do now. Frost is like the best character this season so far. Yeah, you do. I still think your plan would work. We just need to keep you safe. But I mean, <laughs> no one has We need to track the fire quick Wait, enough. No, her sure. boyfriend does. I do. Wait, what? Wait, what? After she has Wait. powers. After Ice huh? Wait, no, there is a way to do this. Why doesn't Barry do his phasing thing? What do you mean? As So, the thing is acting on her, right? But we know if Barry touches an object, he could cause phasing. So when the fire's being attracted, he could start the phasing and then it'll be trapped. You mean like to phase her body so it can't hit her, but it can try yeah. to get close to her and then go inside? That's actually a good plan, Jack. I'm a scientist that belongs on the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Barry can make things invisible. Even it's not going to be tell what's yeah, visible. Yeah, I was about to say that. Mom's right. If the two of you work together, the fire won't hesitate. 
Why is she wearing such an oversized coat? Your latent genome plus frost meta signature should amplify the sphere's cryokinetic output exponentially. Giving our bonfire from hell an offer it can't refuse. Then so. Okay. Thanks for explaining yes, what like the last scene is. Yeah. <laughs> I trust you. All of you. Don't worry. If it comes to that, I'll still be ready to get us all out of here in a second. It's, yeah, like you were yeah, last time. You didn't time. do that last time, Barry. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> totally believe you after you failed to do that. I was... Wait, hang on, you fucking retard. So, rather than one of you, it's now two of you putting yourself in danger. Yeah, they need more to increase the signature so that it won't, the thingy won't hesitate. Don't worry, he can, he can carry two people at the same time as established in Season 1. He carried Caitlyn and Cisco at the same time. I mean, he carried everyone hey, to, how to Paris okay at the end this? of the episode 6, was it? When they were like gonna have like Christmas dinner or whatever in Paris. What is this show? How is Caitlyn okay with both of them doing it? Well, she said it's the only way to do it, and uh, I don't know. Gaily uh -huh. changed her mind way too quickly. I feel strange. That means you're doing it right. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Coming to theaters <laughs> May 5th. Their Contact in five, four. I love how the three, countdown didn't start two. until she Wait. says. It, I, did, I did nothing. Yeah. Flash time. Flash time. Come on, vibrate them. Come on, flash. Flash time. I'm flash, flash time. You can do it. Babe the way, put your back and chew it. Flash time. Okay, relocate flash. them now. Oh. Oh, he doesn't have to. You should still relocate them now. In case, uh, the end of it tries to touch them. How does it not realize what's happening? I imagine it's like... a magnet pulling it... inside. Barry. Relocate them. Barry. Relocate Barry. them flash time. Yeah, I think it's... Do it, being it, oh, that's business. a very evil looking face. You should probably, uh, move them. <laughs> Barry! Sphere integrity alert, what? Barry! Oh, that Why? doesn't look good. Barry! Maybe then Barry abort! Out of here. Barry. What do you mean I can't oh. do this? What can you do? Yeah. What are you talking about I can do this? No, what? 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 Uh, Barry? Re Barry? 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 Barry! It's being pulled into the sphere anyway, just take them out. Thank you, Frost! You continue oh to be the best character. Oh my god! Wait, so what does that mean? Is the fire smaller now? Because, like, half of it is in the ball? Why Since it, it lost its not... integrity, what? I imagine a lot of... Oh, uh, I imagine it, it was slipped. Yeah, I imagine we just slipped outside as well. When it was oh, oh, you just yeah. burned him to death. Just fucking kill him. This fire is useless. No. Well, thank fuck someone has a brain around here. Yeah, Frost is easily best character here because she doesn't like have brain damage <laughs> Back to square one. i mean not really you know how to trap it you know how to lure it as long as you reinforce the sphere so that it doesn't lose its integrity you should actually be able to do it again we failed thanks to frost now we know the cold fusion sphere can contain that thing yeah exactly if we could create a strong enough signal the sphere could work without someone's cryokinetic RNA. why didn't you do this before yeah wait no if you could have done that why didn't you do that from the beginning are you kidding me <laughs> that undermines the entire conflict of the episode are you fucking kidding me they could have just replicated it <sighs> da, 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 da. Oh my <laughs> Christ! This is so <laughs> stupid. I cannot believe they did this. Thank you for keeping us safe, like you always do. Oh shit! It's Marcus. He has no idea what I'm doing. What? It's gonna be Ronnie on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> I should have told you about my condition sooner. I just... Maybe if we talked more, you would have felt more comfortable sharing it with me. I miss so much of your life, and that's my fault. Like I said before, you're my daughter. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> she, she opens the door and says, you're not my mom, and it's just Ronnie, and it burns her to death. Are you Renee Lazo? Who's asking? Your daughter, bitch. Your daughter. <laughs> Didn't say Money. <laughs> Why didn't you want me? 
The truth is, I wanted to be your mom more than anything, but I was so young. I knew it. And... It's the most obvious thing you could do. I don't like this. This is just proving that Iris was right. It would have been way better if they did the Shazam thing where his mom is a piece of shit and he finds family and his own family. Are you snoring, Jeff? Did you fall asleep? I'm awake. Then why did you snore? I... I'm homeless, by the way, mum. I'm a druggie. I have cancer. All because of you, man. Jesus. <laughs> Bro, is it gonna happen? Is it actually gonna do what Jeff predicted? Oh no. <laughs> that was so sudden. I don't know. That, was, that was great audio editing. Please oh, disappear. No. She's gonna disappear, Jeff. Did you. Uh, Jeff, you predicted oh, it. Oh no. my god, Jeff, you predicted it. Oh, the problem is oh, fulfilled. <laughs> Oh my god! What? He's gonna kill Iris now. Oh my god! What did you do to my mom? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Congratulations, you're a prophet. Don't tell me Ronnie's gonna come as well, Nev. <laughs> Ronnie's gonna come. It's gonna be oh, a good day for it you is. Buzz. Yeah, it Ronnie, is. Ronnie. Whoa! Ronnie! You Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Run. Yes! Run. It's Ronnie! Oh, Ronnie. That's his voice. Yeah, it's Robbie. I'm out. Oh yeah. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Woo! I'm a Yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm we a finally prophet. got here. Yay! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't believe we finally got here. Oh, uh, no. man. Uh, oh, no. No. Let's what go. a moment in history. <laughs> I was shit <laughs> I was shit posting about the oh. mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe this. It's such a jab thing to predict the weirdest fucking shit. I man. <laughs> wow. That was <sighs> See the episode is super boring, but the ending saved all of it. Like, man. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing Ugh. to like add it in the records. Yeah, Jesus. I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna do it. Oh, the Ronnie <laughs> and the thingy happening in the same episode. All we needed yeah. was the sex scene. <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> the next episode. That would have popped it off. Yeah, the next episode starts oh. with Allegra and um, what's her what's his face Chester fucking and then Chester. <laughs> yeah, and then the Holy Trinity is complete. <laughs> uh, I love this show. See, th this is why it's fun watching this show because, despite it being really bad, you get moments like this where Jeff predicts that Iris is gonna erase this or this like lady's mother from existence with her time cancer. Um, and he uh, imagine saying that it is actually coming true. It's like fucking hell. You're ready to be a CW writer, Jeff. I think you'd be do a good job there. <laughs> Definitely one of the best things that have happened in these recordings. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> I can't believe it. It was the most sudden thing in turning from, like, oh, this is a heartfelt moment between a character and her mom. Uh, her estranged mom. Oh, actually, Iris is do feeling flumpy. Oh, actually, she just erased this woman from existence. <laughs> And then we cut you, uh, the Ronnie seed, which is something we've been waiting for for like six episodes. If you've if you've been watching these reactions, you have been waiting for like weeks to see the payoff for the Ronnie prediction, and we finally got here. Can't believe it. I was just shit posting. <laughs> <laughs> Are we watching Eleven? I was gonna ask that. You guys good to watch? Uh, yes. After this, yes. <laughs> Carry on the momentum. That was great. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha